Thinking about using more than one Starlink dish, whether it's for speed, backup, or business, in this video, I'll break down the most common questions and share some tips on how to set up multiple Starlink dishes for optimal performance. Why would you need multiple dishes? If you run a business or work from home and can't afford to lose internet, two dishes give you redundancy. One goes down, the other keeps you online. Use dual subscriptions and a bonding router or software to combine them for failover or better reliability. Can multiple dishes actually get you faster speeds? Yes, but only if you bond them. That means combining both connections into one using specialized hardware or software. This will give you more bandwidth, especially on uploads. Starlink upload speeds are still pretty slow, usually capped at around 25 megabits per second. Bonding can get you up to roughly 50 megabits, which makes a big difference. Do you need multiple subscriptions? Yep, each dish that's actively online needs its own subscription. For simultaneous use, you'll need two separate residential plans or consider a Starlink business plan that's designed for multiple multi-dish setups. So how do you set up multiple dishes? Well, your two main choices are run them separately with individual routers and separate Wi-Fi networks, or bond them together using ethernet and a channel bonding router for unified speed and failover. Either way, make sure you space your dishes at least three feet apart to avoid signal interference. Can you mix dish types? For sure. You can mix and match like a performance dish for speed and a mini for backup. Your bonding setup will manage the speed differences between them just fine. Can you bond Starlink with other internet types? Absolutely. Many users bond Starlink with 4G, 5G, DSL, or even cable for the best reliability meaning you'll stay online even if one of those providers drops. So is it worth it to get two Starlink dishes? If you need speed, stability, more bandwidth, or backup internet, it can definitely be worth it. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe so we can bring you more tips and tutorials like this.